Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the February 17th Daily Inspirational Message. It's the condensed version, two paragraphs long, and I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Okay, here we go. The title, Forgiving Yourself. Paragraph one. Today, the call for forgiving oneself has been trumpeted throughout the land. Allow your heart to hear it, your mind to melt with it, and your soul to sense it. You are continually growing, yet always, in the now, at your highest peak of development. When any event occurred, you made the best decision possible with the tools and knowledge that you had available to you at that time. Because you did the best you could with the tools and knowledge that you had, compassion and understanding, not condemnation and guilt, should be your response to yourself. Would an all-knowing all God not give you every single tool you need to face your challenges? Today, place your trust in God's love above the ego's judgments and see your journey, not through the ego's past programs, but through the eternal, through God's eyes. Paragraph two. Today, our main goal is to practice non-judgment towards ourselves. The ego has programmed us to be self-critical and judge ourselves anytime that life doesn't seem to be going the way the ego thinks it should. Remember, judgment is the ego's fuel source, not ours. Today, each time a self-judgmental thought enters your mind, as quickly as possible, practice stopping it in its tracks. When you stop it, you also stop fueling it. When it has no more fuel, it begins to wither away. You starve it of its fuel source by placing your whole focus on knowing that God only creates perfectly and has co-created your journey with you. Your actions, no matter how judgmental your ego has programmed you to be of them, are part of this perfect co-creation that, all together, will awaken you to the truth within. All right, forgiving yourself, a key. A key in life is forgiving yourself. So many people can forgive others, but not themselves. And I wanna make uh, three uh, points in this regard. And I trust that uh, it will feel right and that you will acknowledge them as true in your own time, if that, if that has to be. If it can be now, it'll, you'll, you'll, you'll see that it's true. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, first is, remembering you come from love you come from an all loving place and you came into this planet to help help awaken this world and sometimes the best way to help awaken those in the darkness is to know about the darkness is to know about the stories and the delusions and the fantasies <laughs> and so sometimes we put ourselves in situations that are challenging in nature but love the father who is love would never offer you something that you can't uh, overcome. There's no challenge that you cannot overcome because you and God co-created your journey with you to help you awaken, to help you realize who you truly are so that you may light the way for others. And so first let's practice trusting in a divine design instead of what their ego says, that we didn't do A, B, or C, and that's why we should punish ourselves and feel guilty and shameful and keep that uh, guilt and shame like a backpack that we never let go of. That's the ego's plan. <laughs> the ego's plan is insane. Stop following it. <laughs> In reality, there's always something there for us because having co-created it with perfection, our plan must be perfect for us. It's only when we start defining our divine plan through the ego that we start to question it, that we start to say, no, I can't, I'm not worthy of being forgiven. I do not forgive myself. 
and so you've already tried that many a times and why continue to try something that doesn't work why why not try a, a more gentle path a true way a true way to peace and so when the ego starts saying no don't forgive yourself just stop it place it aside and say right now I'm not going to invest my time, focus, and energy on the story anymore. Because when I do, it, I'll only make it more real and I only get chained more to my past. No, I'm breaking the chains. Now, when the ego comes judging myself and saying that I'm not worthy of forgiveness, I'm going to go to God and say, please God, guide me. I know that my, I know that my journey is perfect for me. Therefore, I'm going to forgive myself now because I know you want me to forgive myself because when I do, I become a brighter light. And then I can guide my brothers and sisters to a place of healing and a place of peace. The second point, uh, it's gonna probably be three points. Um, the second point is that knowingly or not, you're always at your highest level of development. Um, let's say uh, there's numerous people and each person, uh, appears through the eagle's eyes of comparison to be at the different levels of self-awareness but in reality all these let's say four people four and eight four plus four is eight james <laughs> these eight people uh they might be they might it looks might looks like there are all in different levels of self-awareness and of being able to forgive oneself but in reality they're all at their highest point right so even if you're this person here. You're at your highest point of the development. This is the spiritual, physical, and emotional tools you have to deal with any event at that moment in time. And so you are always doing, knowingly or not, the best you can with the tools that you have available to you. The mental tools, the emotional tools. And so don't punish yourself because you, you just did the best you could. There's no point in punishing yourself if you did, did the best you could. Now, according to the ego, the ego says you judge yourself, but we already played that game numerous times before. No, we are always at the highest level of development. Therefore, we're always making the best decision we can with what we have. And so if we're doing the best we can, we, we can with what we have, then uh, let us offer ourselves compassion and understanding and forgiveness. So you know what? If I had, if I had more tools, I would have I said, said or done better excuse me <laughs> said or done better but you know I was where I was and I did what I did but I, I tried my best in that moment and so let go of, let go of that self-judgment and instead trust trust in the divine design trust that God has given you all the tools you need in every situation to overcome your challenges in your misperceptions. A third part is um, all we have to do is uh, look at our past and see how many times we did not want to forgive ourselves. But looking back and coming forward, we see how much we learned from the experience, how much more we became more compassionate or more understanding or more forgiving of self or others. And so even if you thought that in the past you made some sort of mistake or sin or what, what have you, there's always a lesson to be learned. It's, it's not about the sin, it's about the lessons learned. It's not about the mistakes that you think you made. Everything that the, the, the you calls mistakes, God calls lessons. And so everything is a lesson that God will have you learn and that you in a spiritual sense, chose to learn. Why? So that you can have it in your spiritual tool belt, your emotional tool belt, so that someday you can heal those that God sends your way. And so your life experience is gonna make you a greater teacher. And all you have to look at is look at your past and see how much you've grown from it. And so don't punish yourself. Don't, don't keep on judging yourself. Be appreciative of your past self. Say thank you, past self. For helping me become the person that I am today. Thank you so much. That's that's looking through love's lens. 
the ego to have you condemn yourself in the past and carry that condemnation to the present and then to the future. No, no. <laughs> We've played that game uh, numerous times before. We don't have to do that anymore. Forgive and be grateful to your past self. Let your present self be grateful to your past self. Pull that he, she went through to become you now. And then when you keep on following that path, your future self is right now grateful to your present self, even though your present self might be feeling guilty or shameful because you're listening to the ego instead of God. Your future self is so grateful to you, to you for going through these challenges so that you can overcome it, so that you can remember who you truly are, that you are worthy of forgiveness because you are God's child, because he co-created this journey with you. And he wants you to awaken and remember that you are worthy of forgiveness so that you can put that in your emotional tool belt so that you can offer that understanding to others when they come to you. They'll come to you saying, I can't forgive my past. You'll tell them, yeah, I was there, I was there. And this is how I overcame it. And you can overcome it too, because we're all one. So what I can do, you can do. And so please uh, practice reinforcing the, the understanding that you are completely worthy of forgiveness. Forgive yourself. And set yourself free from the ego stories that you're supposed to carry shame and guilt and regret and all that. C R A P. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your time. I love you very much. If you can be so kind as to like, comment, and share this message, it would help with the listening process and it might help somebody uh, become more self forgiving someday. God willing. <laughs> and, uh, made it this far. I love you very much and God willing we will see each other tomorrow. Peace.